Welcome to this wonderful British summer's day, where today we're talking about the i20. But first, a little history lesson. In 2008, there was a global financial crisis. It turns out propping up bonds on mortgage trees wasn't actually that good of an idea. The banks got greedy. They started lending with subprime mortgages, and effectively, the whole economy collapsed. The fallout of this meant simply that Americans lost $9.8 trillion in market and assets. And it didn't just affect America either. And this didn't just affect the housing market. Copper prices plummeted, jobs were lost. And what that meant was that the car market also fell down. This meant any car purchases made had to be made for necessity. They had to be cheap to run, cheap to buy, and more reliable. But tucked away in a medium-sized city in Germany, Hyundai had a new technical research center in which was being developed a new platform. And this platform would replace the aging Hyundai Gets. And this is where the i20 was born. Sitting between the i10 and the i30, the new platform and slightly extended wheelbase allowed for much more room inside. Certainly class leading, and its 1.2 liter engine was no slouch either. So those who had to change weren't necessarily worse off. The car sold particularly well in Europe and in India, making it a smash hit overnight. It was not until 2012, however, when the facelift came out, or the first facelift, I should say, when Hyundai would really hit its stride, adding things like LED daytime running lights. And with the latest model, which is obviously what we're in today, the ultimate as well, the top of the top, it's turning heads even more, because this is a seriously good looking car. We didn't really have to work hard trying to find good angles to film it from the outside. But now Hyundai were going head to head with the biggest name in the business in the compact car sector, and that is Ford. The Fiesta is a phenomenal success in the UK especially. The Fiesta is the one that this car had to beat. It's almost like Hyundai had the Fiesta in its sights from the very start. At first, they made it cheaper to compete. Then they got the quality to the same level. And now it's the full package, the design, the price. The way it handles is brilliant. It's come so far, so fast. In recent years, they seem to be particularly going after the legacy of the Fiesta as well, what with the i20N, but that's definitely a separate video. Make sure you um, hit the like button and subscribe to see that one. But ignoring the i20N for now, what if you walked into a showroom and said, I just want to buy a normal i20? What about this? This is the 2023 Hyundai i20. And the car starts at the time of filming from £19,285 for the SC Connect, and there are four to choose from as well. The standard car comes with an eight inch color touchscreen display. You get a 10.25 inch digital gauge cluster. That's standard, a digital gauge cluster, completely standard on that SE Connect. It's phenomenal. You get 16 inch alloy wheels, a 48 volt mild hybrid system as well. You get Apple CarPlay and uh, Android Auto. You get driver attention warning or door. You get intelligent speed warning, lane keep assist. You get rear parking sensors and a rear view camera, all completely standard. On the on the base model, we walk in. I want I want the the, the, the there is no bottom rate. Right? There's no bottom car. No, it's just it's there's no standard cars. It turns out these days. And then you get the N line, which upgrades over the SE Connect. A few little features. That eight inch color touchscreen display is upgraded to a 10.25 inch. You get 17 inch exclusive N line alloy wheels. You get an auto dimming rear view mirror too. Auto wipers, climate control. You get electric folding mirrors. You get interior mood lighting too. You get LED tail lamps, completely standard. N-line badging and the, of course, the N-line body kit are also standard too. You get rear privacy glass, signature daytime running lights too, and smart keyless entry. The N-line starts from 22,880 pounds, which is not a lot, but quite a lot. If that makes sense. And then you get the premium as well. The premium is kind of a side to the N line. So if you want a more sporty car, you get the N line. But if you want to have a more luxurious car, you get the premium. Premium also has much of the same equipment 10.25 inch color touchscreen display. You get 17 inch 
alloy wheels, you get the auto dimming mirror, auto wipers, you get chrome window surround and climate control as well. You get those electric folding door mirrors, you get front fog lights, heated front seats and the heated steering wheel. You get those LED tail lamps too, signature daytime running lights, and it's looking like a steal at 21,485 pounds. And then you get the ultimate, what we're in today, the tip top of the range. Well, the ultimate adds blind spot collision warning. You get a Bose premium sound system forward collision assist. You get lane follow assist, smart keyless entry, a phantom black two-tone roof, and a wireless charging pad. And all of that starts from a mere 22,535 pounds. In most of the range, engine-wise, you get a 100 PS one liter engine or a 120 PS in the N line. You get a little bit more than that in the uh, in the Hyundai i20 N, but as I said, we're not covering that one yet. I want it to be a bit drier roads before we go on that adventure. This should give you somewhere between 40 and 55 MPG. At the moment, considering I've just reset the trip, about, well, I just reset the trip. Since when we started the journey, I'm getting about 44 miles a gallon. So that seems pretty accurate to me, which is good. And insurance should be pretty inexpensive too. It ranges between group 12 and group 16, depending on the model. And as I said before, there's also a 48 volt mild hybrid battery to help with little things like your heating and ancillaries and all the other little bits and pieces that you don't necessarily want your engine to have to do. So they have that hybrid system to do it for you. Interestingly enough, normally when you're driving around, there is absolutely basically nothing technical but from like the front door onwards. So by putting that little battery in the boot, you get that little bit of weight over the back and it makes the handling so much better. And I can already tell that by driving it today. It feels great to drive. And even when you're having fun with it, you never feel like you're straining at the leash. You're never worried about grip. There's plenty of grip in the car, even today, when it's absolutely tipping it down outside. It's a good feeling car. I'm gonna go into this corner here and... Woohoo! Yes! I'm sorry, that car, that car, this car has no business handling as well as this, as it does. I it did, no. All right, here we go, power time. This is a big hill. Okay, that's not a problem at all. Change down the gear and it's like, nah, don't wanna really that bother about it, really. This is a great little car. Do you know what, if I ever, if I ever go, do you know what, I just need something to potter around in. This? Yeah, 100%. Fan, it's a fantastic little car. It's got loads of spec on it. It's brilliant, I love it. And it drive the work the you've got to have a drive. But before we get before we get onto the drive, because I really want to give this one a drive, and I actually want to see what Matt thinks of the drive too, because it is that good and he does like it a lot, is we need to talk about the Hyundai's quality control of this car. See, the Hyundai Gets was replaced over a decade ago. It was rather sparse equipment-wise and not the not the best quality-wise, which is amazing to see how far Hyundai have come in the last 10 years. This car though, you would never believe that you could buy this car for sub 20,000 pounds, never at all. They do little things as well to help lighten it. Like for example, normally in most cars, when you open the door and the door trims are all black, so it kind of meshes together because they don't want to show where the cheaper plastics are. But in this one, they've made it white and it's the kind of hard tactile plastic that you want that's going to, so if you knock it with your foot when you're getting out or whatever it is, it's gonna easily be able to withstand that sort of pressure and those sort of knocks and dings. But because it's light, it brings the whole car up. The, the roof lining is white as well. It feels so much more spacious in here than it deserves to be. And then you've got like the steering wheel quality as well. Hyundai steering wheels are always really good. But again, for a car that's less than 20,000 pounds, it has no right to feel this good. And then you get that 10.25 inch screen as well. You get the digital gauge cluster. As far as I can tell, it's the same gauge cluster that goes on the i30. So it looks absolutely fantastic. It really is quality. So if you're a little bit sad about the Fiesta going bye-bye, don't worry because there is an alternative. Having said that, let's do my favorite bit, the drive, and not his favorite bit. <laughs> First of all, the thing loves to rev. That little one cylinder engine is absolutely fantastic. The steering wheel is so light. In fact, we're going into sport mode, I don't even care. There we go, a little bit better on the throttle response, nice. The gear stick, and I was saying this before, the gear stick in a manual car, I don't drive that many manual cars these days, most things are automatic. The gear stick feels absolutely phenomenal. Slots in really easy, a nice light clutch, but still with that feedback. And then even on a wet day, when you maybe hit a corner a little bit too hard because you're having a bit of fun, the car hangs on. It doesn't just plow straight on as 
you'd kind of expect it to. I know this is the ultimate, but the setup is supposedly the same on the SE Connect. So no matter what i20 you get, if you're looking at one, <laughs> it's going to be fun. Oh, you get so much feedback from the steering wheel and the pedals. It's great. And then when you want to uh, slow things down again, go into fifth. And it's relatively quiet. Do you know what it's like? It's like, it's like a medium-sized, playful young dog. Yeah, this is like the Labrador. Yeah. No, 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 because the Labrador is like nice and calm and relaxed. Okay. This is more like, I don't know. Have you ever, have you? Shepherd? Yeah, like a German Shepherd. Yeah. It's like a little German Shepherd, like, yeah. like, I'm ready to go. Everything's yeah. interesting. Let's go. I don't know why I'm comparing a car to a dog, but it works, so it's fine. Yeah. It's nicer than my car. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, that's yeah. not difficult. <laughs> um, <laughs> OK, yeah. Um, are you down already? I'm down already. I haven't. This is literally the first time I've driven this, and I am already down. <laughs> like, even even just down to like the small things, like the the mirror being slightly slightly dark, like tinted. Yeah. The, the feel of the of the steering wheel. The steering like, wheel, almost. right? Yeah, yeah. The steering wheel is amazing. It just sound like just sounds nice. Sounds nice. It feels nice. Yeah. Try to squeeze it. Squeeze squeeze it a little bit. Yeah. Soft touch. Well, the i20N is actually what got me over to high end dining because I, I really quite liked the look of the i20N. Yeah, it's a very but good looking car. If I can't get the i20N, this one, <laughs> <laughs> this would be the one. How much is one of these a month? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, you want it. You I want do, it. I you do. want it so bad. I, I can see. There'd, there'd be quite a lot. Like, it has to be a lot to beat this thing. But for the price, you would have to have a lot in the car to beat this yeah. and have the handling and have just the feel. Yeah, Like quality. you said, it's, it's like, a, like a little like a German Shepherd. It's just, you know, excited to see you, but would also back your corner if you needed to. <laughs> handling back from our resident boot yardstick, um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to give us a ring, the number's on screen. Come and have a test drive. Or, of course, you can send us an email. Um, alternatively, if you want to see something smaller, the i10 is on screen right now, or the i30 if you want something bigger. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.